countdown is on to the holiday rush. That's right, Thanksgiving, just a month away. People, though, will start to travel much sooner than that. And as we've seen out of DIA, some of the security lines have been so long, people miss their flights. So right now, we're holding the TSA accountable for you. We're asking what's their plan of attack after last December's debacle. Denver 7's Mark Stewart is at DIA. He's live right now. Mark, you've learned they're asking the airlines to help out, too. And Adam, really, the airlines had no choice in all of this. Talking to people in the industry, they can't bear to have another repeat. The TSA really had a fiasco here at Denver International Airport. The line's so long that people miss their flights. So this year, a different approach. The airlines are helping out, providing staff to help man the checkpoints. We know that. Frontier Airlines has, uh, is going to be helping out. United Airlines is going to be helping out. Staff members will be doing things like collecting bins, directing people. The TSA, for that matter, the airlines, the airport, for that matter, can't deal with another repeat. People are traveling once again, and they don't want anything to interrupt that, especially a repeat performance from last year. Wow, Mark, that doesn't give the airlines too much time to get extra staffing on board for all this. So what about us? I mean, how early do we have to get out there for our holiday plans? So the airlines are certainly going to be looking for staff members to work the checkpoints, but there's also a burden on all of us who fly. If you're flying domestically, the same recommendations hold two hours for domestic, three hours for international. But again, this is uncharted territory this year, so best advice, call ahead, check ahead, make sure you allow plenty of extra time. For the now, I'm Mark Stewart.